the ground is bad. God! I'm Jason and Emmy, welcome to Cine.com. So, Pet Cemetery uh, brings the, you know, the pets back. But not in the same way, right? <laughs> no, no, I uh, this is I'm t I actually really love acting in genre films, and I love mm -hmm. genre films in general. But this is next level. This is Stephen King. So he's I mean he's the man. So mm -hmm. yeah. I know you love the book. You read mm -hmm. it a lot of times. Mm -hmm. So how was your perspective when you read it? Well, yeah, you kind of go down the rabbit hole and lose your mind with the book because it's like there's so much in there. And so I became a little bit obsessed with, you know, why aren't we doing this? What's that? I mean, it was, it was, it was wonderful. It was something that I was, I was, I was glad to do, but I was very glad to put to bed and finish doing. You know, I mean, I was digging up and digging in those fingernails and the, you know, the grief and the, you know, the, the, you know, the, we spend most of the movie in a very heightened state of reality. Lewis is out of his mind, you know. Mm -hmm. So I was happy to kind of say, you know what, finito. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was hard to mentally prepare to have fear all the time. You just gotta jump in. I mean, I I walk around pretty much fearing life all the time, and I still live it, and I still walk out of my house every day. So it's kind of like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just, oh, it's like, like oh. what? Yeah. It's like dating in the modern it's world. It's like dating on. It's like. Tinder, but it is. You do. I mean, Amy's right. You, you you have to throw yourself in. This. You learn very quickly that it's like, I can meander around and tiptoe, but it's pretty lame if I do that. Mm -hmm. And then it's just gonna get worse and I'm gonna get really weirded out in front of all these people. You know, it's it's a fine line, so you've just gotta jump right in head first. Hope you don't break your neck. And, um, <laughs> you know, and go from there, you know, and, and, and that helps with, mm -hmm. because it's, it's, it's a three-hander, really. I mean, there's Jard in there, you know, there's Jard myself, four-hander with, you know, with with Jatay, but like it's it's a pretty intense, you know, workload for everybody. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a full-on scene. Full I mean, so we can say that the the metaphor of this movie could be the grief. I mean, you know, you can let go things. You can not let go personal. You grief can and fear situations. of that. But, but a fear yeah. of that. A fear Those of that. But, but a fear yeah. of that. A fear of losing uh. what 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 you hold on to. What you think is yours. Mm -hmm. He makes it so realistic that you. You lean right into the point of just like, I'm afraid of losing something now. And he touches on that fear. I mean, not just scare fear, but like true fear of like you're really, you know, losing what you're losing this and then losing your mind or losing your soul or losing your battle for yourself as well as your child. They'll have fear in this movie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. definitely. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you.